James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's October 9th, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We can see that Earth's electromagnetic field has been taking some hits all day long. These were not too substantial, but they were at least 100 hertz. And over the last 20 or 30 minutes, we've taken a really hard hit here. Uh, that's our electromagnetic shield. Now, what's so strange here is our Schumann residence has seen several spikes all day long. And this is just a portion of them. However, we do not see anything going on right here where we have a large impact to our electromagnetic fields. Uh, they seem to be running about the same time feed-wise. And I also don't see it on the six-day comparison, although we've seen several Schumann resonance spikes today, several exceeding 50 hertz. You can see some that happened much earlier in the day that looked like they might have been stronger than 100 hertz. But throughout the day, they seem to have dissipated or become weaker, although we just had the hardest hit on our geomagnetic shield uh, in at least seven days. As you can see here, there's been very little activity with the Schumann residence until yesterday afternoon, and that picked up last night and is still intermittently happening. These are large spikes, like I said, that exceed or go off the chart here. The chart ends at 50 hertz. And looking at the instrumentation itself, we can see that they're all real hits being picked up. Our geophones, our ULF sensors, our ELF sensors, and our two SR frequency. Every single one of them seem to have been hits. So these are real deal Schumann spikes happening since late yesterday afternoon. And again, we just got hit harder than we have been, i.e. our electromagnetic shields in at least seven days. I did check space weather. We are having solar winds of 600 kilometers per second, which are very fast, but they sure don't look like they have any correspondence to the Schumann resonance impacts or the electromagnetic shield impact. If you're looking at CERN, it looks like it was uh, off for a bit, went full power about 2140 UTC time and we're going from there. Now I can't say that this is what's causing the spike in the electromagnetic shield. It somewhat does match up but I can find no association. This is a physics fill and they may or may not have been working with CERN during the other periods, we see Schumann resonance spikes and also our electromagnetic shield getting hit. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in the bizarre world.